So I'm connected to an InSight 7200 camera. I'm in the inputs outputs step of the application steps process. This camera has three digital inputs. There are two signal types needed to be able to change job jobs on the camera. The first is the job load switch. This tells the camera that you're changing jobs. The second type is a job ID number. The job ID number is the number of the job that you are loading. And this job ID number is a binary input, so zero or one. You can have as many as eight job ID numbers, which allow you to reference jobs zero to 127. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So if I go to file, I go to open job, you can see that there are three jobs loaded on my camera, and each of these jobs is prefaced by a number, so 0, 1, and 2. These are the numbers referenced by the job ID number. Now to change a job, what I first need to do is turn the camera offline. And I'm doing that here with an online, offline signal. Then you need to set your job ID number lines high or low to the number corresponding to the job which you want to load. So for this example, if I set job ID number to zero, it will load this job. If I set it high or to one, it will load this job. After that, you then activate job load switch, which in this case activates on the rising edge. So on the rising edge, whatever your job ID number is, it will be loaded. And you can check if the job was correctly loaded by using job load OK. And if I go over to details, you'll see that if the job is correctly loaded, I will have a 10 millisecond pulse from this pin here. I hope you have found this video useful. If you have any other questions, check out our other videos or get in contact with us through our website. And be sure to follow us on LinkedIn to stay current with the latest products.